Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. Haha. -ha. Alright, now, I've said haha -ha in the opening twice now. Um, <clears throat> I'm very excited because we're entering a very awesomely nostalgic dungeon. For those of you who don't know, um, we're actually going to go right in and then exit right after, which is kind of weird, but yeah, y you'll see why. Very specific reason, very important reason. So, yes. Once we actually enter the dungeon, the bio will come up for it. So, not yet. No! Okay. Listen to the music. <gasps> ho, 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 ho. And, hey! There is the final golden bug. The female snail. Get some res res resources here. Well, that was a waste. Um, now, we're gonna leave. Uh, now that we have the female snail, um, we can get a very important item. Not very important, because... Yeah, not very important. Um, but we really want to get it. Uh, once you're out here, warp back to West Hyrule Field, or Castle Town, rather. I will meet you guys at Agatha's house. Oh, wonderful. Wait a second, I was in the dungeon. I'm in the process of getting dungeons finished. What are you doing? Two. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, yes. Let me see what those are for, because he didn't state who it was from. He just said, you have two letters. One is from... Yetta. And one is from Princess Agatha. A butterfly surrounded Agatha and lifts her. She talks in the third person. Agatha had a dream last night. A butterfly surrounded Agatha and lifted her up to the sky. As she waved to the people below in Castletown, she could see so many people, some waving back, others staring wide eyed. Agatha flew in a big circle above Hyrule Field, and the butterflies formed in a bed beneath her and said, Let's play again. Let's play, haha. <laughs> Soon they faded away, and she woke up in her own bed. Oh, Agatha wants so badly to fly in the sky. That was the most pointless letter ever! God, now I don't want to take this bug to her. She, she wasted our time with letters of dreams that we don't care about. Like, I just walked out of the sh Did he actually try? Or she? He? He. I can't talk to him. Oh, darn it. No, girls, leave me alone. Actually, what am I talking about? No. They're too young for Link. Besides, he has Ilya. And... Who else? He's got Ilya, he's got... Technically got Zelda. He's got Midna. Well, Midna isn't much to speak about. Look at all the bugs. They're all having such a great time. Oh, hey, butterfly, right in the middle. Yes, I have brought you the final bug. Oh. Well, we're going to be wasting a lot of rupees here. Let's not cut ahead. These are the last and final bugs to give her, and she's giving us rupees that we can't hold. Why don't you just, like, replace the one of the green rupees in your bag? And just carry that. But if it's a matter of space, then why don't you just do that? I never understood that. How does the amount of money you have have to do with the space you have? All the bugs have made it to the ball safely, hee hee hee, and everyone has a partner. They all look so happy because they're doing it. You worked very hard. Your efforts will forever be passed down in the insect kingdom, brave knight. I am a knight. A dark knight. Please accept this declaration of honorable citizenship and with and the memento... Moment, blah, blah, blah. Goes along with it. There it is, the giant wallet! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! 
It is a symbol of a distinguished citizen in the insect kingdom. So Link is a grasshopper. Much like he was in Majora's Mask. We can now hold a thousand rupees. <laughs> to the bugs again, you know where to go. N no. No, I don't. Actually. I don't I don't want to hear the happy balls. Happy balls. You know. Happy calls of the bugs. <laughs> Goodbye forever, Agatha. Creepy child. She's got some weird fetish going on that I do not want to talk about. Oh! Mm -hmm. I want to see if I could teleport within... Ooh, I can. So let's head back to the sacred grove. I will meet you guys inside the Temple of Time. Which is what it was, you couldn't tell. Oh gee, spoilers. Uh, it kind of looks like the, uh effect that happens when you go into Ganon's tower in Wind Waker. I'm not on that yet, actually. I'm playing through Wind Waker again, as I've said before. Um, but I kind of want to play through Ocarina of Time again, because I've been listening to the reorchestrated soundtrack. You guys have been listening to the music, because uh, I've been playing that as fast forward stuff um, for like two episodes, I guess. Um, and... I, it makes me want to play Ocarina of Time again. I kind of, it kind of, like, if you guys want me to do a speed run of Ocarina of Time right now, I would probably say yes, just because of that game or that music. Anyway, if this looks familiar, then it sh that well, it does. It should look familiar. The light pouring in. Just like the hero of time before us, we will stab this pedestal with our sword and create a light and stairs. I didn't know that could happen. Apparently, there was a dungeon here the entire time and went. Hey, oof, oof. Jar Jar! Uh, um, that floating thing that was following it was its son. So I guess her son, I guess Uku is a girl, female. But as you can see, this disappears as we get closer to it. So now we are finally in the next dungeon. Here we go. Well guys, we are finally here. We are at dungeon number six, the Temple of Time. Uh, so nostalgic, isn't it? Anyway, this dungeon has five floors, if you can believe it. Uh, no wait, eight floors. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, eight floors, a lot of stairs, um, but there's not a lot of room in the uh, many floors that are there. Um, surprisingly enough, uh, there are not a, a whole lot of enemies to encounter, or new ones, that is. Uh, so there isn't much variety you need to take with your fighting style, so don't worry about that much. And it, anyways, um, enjoy the nostalgia, guys. Now, admittedly, this actually does look a lot like how a temple would look if there was one in the Temple of Time and Ograin of Time. Now, the first thing we want to do is figure out this puzzle. There's... <sighs> Midna. Now, this door won't open until there's another statue sitting there with it. Um, what we're going to want to do with... Oh, darn it. This temple is riddled with statue puzzles. Um, switch, using statues to balance out switches, using statues to balance out um, like weights, that sort of thing. Uh, there's going to be a lot of it. Um, and... Unfortunately, I did not practice this dungeon before I start before I started recording. I really should have done because I don't remember the temple all the way through. Oh, Goku. Mmm, not so fast. Hey, it's saying something different. At last, this is it. This is where I've been trying to get to. The ancient technology of our people sleeps in this place. We've searched all over. 
And now we're so close, I can smell it! Once we find that thing, we can go home at last! Oh gracious, yes! Mm, young man, we're so close, so please, PLEASE help us find what we're looking for! If I don't eat you first... Okay. Uh, yes, Buku joins your party automatically in this temple. Now it is a temple, not a dungeon. Oh, darn it! You see how unpracticed I am? Uh, this is gonna be a long dungeon. I was hoping to get. I'm hoping to finish this game in under 70 episodes. Probably won't happen. Four dungeons left, and I've been doing like four parts for every dungeon, so yeah, not gonna happen. On top of the side quest interlude between this temple and the next one. Ugh. Okay, enough talk about future stuff, even though we are in the temple time. Uh, let's head through here. Now, I want to make sure that I am not missing anything at all. Um, most likely will. Hey, it's little Gomas. It's young Gomas. Not hard. Another easy enemy. Why did they put that in here? Um, let's grab a. Let's grab some pot and place it on the switch. Now, there's more so a lot of weight puzzles than anything else. Um, now we can start collecting rupees or arrows. <laughs> Road. We're taking the high road. Okay, now we can easily collect rupees without really feeling bad about ourselves for missing out on good, good amounts of money because we now have a thousand. We're now able to carry a thousand rupees. Uh, more arrows that we don't need. Admittedly, you're going to need the, air, the hero bow for, a, for this temple a lot more than some of the other temples. Ooh. Ooh. Armos. Armos. Everybody, ow. Everybody fight these guys as the... Oh, God. Is the... Slide jump thing. Watch out, they do explode now. Or actually, I don't know. Uh, he drops the dungeon map. Yes, I swallowed it. All right. Give me red rupee. Red rupee. Yum. Okay. And I spilled this item. So. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying before? I was gonna say something about the hero's bow. Oh, yes. Oh, hey, cheese! Eat it. Go die. In a hole. Okay. Um... Something about the heroes, though. A joke, if you will. I heard keys. And a cat. Why did I hear a cat? Oh god, my cat's spirit is haunting me. No, she's not dead. I'm just joking around. Um. No. <sighs> White Beemos. The only difference with these guys is that they're. The pendulum is a little bit harder to hit. Okay. Don't need those. Give me a rupee. Um. Oops. I don't want to fight all of you. Oh! Oh yeah, that's right, man. I'm supposed to... Go to... Oh, it's so long. Oh, uh, let's... Oh my god! 